everyone and welcome to a video that I feel like I just filmed, but I didn't. I just edited it. <laughs> but it took a while because I'm still sick, but I clearly have been sick this past month. And so I just got that video out to you guys, but uh, I've been sick for almost a month now. So it's time to open up BoxyCharm again <laughs> and see what was inside or what is inside for the month of January. January is going by both very slowly and very much very quickly. It's a haze, it's a blur, I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I just, I've been knocked out by this sickness and I hope it goes away and hopefully with the power of makeup, oh my god, I didn't notice that something happened in transit there, but hopefully with the power of makeup I will be able to restore my health, right? That's absolutely how it works. So fresh and so clean for the theme for this month. We have got the biggest item here. This is the Touch in Soul Pretty Filter Waterful Glow Cream. Okay, I'm gonna assume a moisturizer. We have got the Love Craft and Beauty Plasma Gloss. Quasar Goo. Lips, lids, and cheekbones, or anywhere you want to put highlights. Okay, I feel like maybe I've heard of this brand before, but I certainly don't think I've tried it at all. Can I open the little box, please? Listen, I know I'm sick, but I'm not so sick that I can't open a little box. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be an orangey red bronze. Not really my shade, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Um, and then we've got three other things. We have got the Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia. I think I picked this, I think, in choice. We have got the Real Her Metallic Eyeliner Duo. I don't remember picking that, but let's see. I'm usually down with some metallic liner. Looks like we got a bronze and a blue. Nothing terribly exciting, but I guess better than black, just because we get so many black eyeliners. And then the Persona E-Balm. It's vegan and gluten-free in the shade Manifest. What does this look like? Smells like vanilla, okay. We can work with it, we can work with it, but hopefully we get a little more makeup to work with in our other box. That one must have just been the base box. So let's see what we got in our premium. We got something from Huda Beauty, the liquid matte, alluring, long lasting and comfortable matte liquid lipstick. I think it must be in the shade Alluring. I feel like I've tried this product before, but it was so long ago, I don't remember. Do people still do liquid matte lips? Anyone, anyone? Do people actually enjoy them? We've got the Underlining Hide Invisible Oil-Free Medium Full Coverage Foundation. Okay, it's in the shade Vanilla. I hope it's not that color. That's just straight up buttercream. But anywho, okay, we got a foundation. We also got this Volition Strawberry Sea brightening serum. I think I picked this one. I think it was a choice between like a couple serums or something. I was like, I, I guess I'll pick that one. Uh, we got Salute to the Sun Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara from Uoma Beauty. I don't know that there's actually beauty. It might just be well, either way. Um, okay, a mascara. Yay, exciting. We got the 3-1 Glycolic Acid Molecular Boost Eye Serum from Able Skincare London. We shall see. I like a good eye cream. Uh, it's a serum, not a cream, but either way, I'll give it a shot. And then we have the Dominique Unconditional Palette. I like the packaging. Dominique Cosmetics. Let's See, what do you look like? As much as I like the packaging, it is what's on the inside that counts. Oop, cool. Very pretty. I mean, nothing special, but looks pretty. So I can I can definitely work with that and hopefully the formula is nice. So cool, a little more makeup to play with to go with the other makeup. Yay! And I'm clearly already wearing makeup, so I will be playing with the makeup, 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 in just a second here on a different day. So I'll see you in just a second here. Alrighty, so new day, new face. I am here to test out my, my boxy charm products. I'm also hopefully here to speak English. It's never a given though. Sometimes it's just gibberish. So let's see what I can actually use today. Let me know if you want to see a weekly wear on this foundation. I'm currently doing a weekly wear right now, but I can certainly do one on that foundation if you would like. I'm gonna pass on the liquid matte just since 
it's not my thing I would rather just give that to someone so that I'll go to my local women's shelter I have a different lip product we can test out here and other things so mascara lip product eyeliner brow gel a glossy thing and an eyeshadow palette so let's see this glossy thing once again this plasma gloss from love craft beauty all right the cardboard is winning not the greatest feeling but eh, that's life we got to the product now this is in the shade quasar goo probably pronouncing that incorrectly but let's see what this looks like sealed for my protection very nice Okay, yeah, it looks like a rusty orangey copper, but definitely leaning on the orange side. It's an all over gloss. Lips, lids, and cheekbones. Anywhere you wanna add highlights. Well, I, this is for a medium to deep skin color, that could totally work with this. It's not what color skin I have, so I think I'm just gonna keep this on my eyes. And I think that'll be okay going with this Dominique palette since this was, well, you know. <laughs> I think they'll play nicely together, okay? I think we'll be able to make that work, that combo. But let's see, okay, so no powder, no cheek products. Let me get this in order. Okay, so powder, cheeks, and a little bit of brow pencil. I shouldn't say a little bit, it's normal brow pencil. Now I can go in with this dip brow gel from Anastasia. You know, supposed to be the queen brand of brows. At least I know that's how it used to be. I picked the shade medium brown, so fingers crossed this will be good for me. I think it will. Now, pull it out and let's see how this does. It's gonna be wet, it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be waxy it's gonna have a little crusty on the wand yes we will take that off and let's see how it does with my brows I assume it's gonna give a little color it's gonna give some shape some definition it's gonna be a little clumpy hmm let's see that's okay it certainly is adding color and shape Ooh. That side especially. Maybe I didn't need to oof, fill my brows in beforehand? Oh my goodness. Hello. These look like my I just started YouTube brows. Seriously, what a time in my life. Let's see if we can brush that out a little bit. Granted, my brows are slightly unruly at the moment. Being sick for so long, grooming my brows was kind of the last of my, or the least of my worries and concerns. It just feels heavy. It feels like a lot. Not like texturally feels heavy, it just looks like a lot. It also really grabbed on to like any teeny tiny hair. But I guess these are my brows today. Do I need to be worried? I feel like they're looking very caterpillary. Or are you guys sitting there and you're like, Cassie, they really don't look that different from your normal brows. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm just being a little self-conscious. Let me prime my lids. Okay, now this gloss, let's see. Let's go in. Ooh, very liquid, very melty. Ooh, lovely. Like I said, if you have a deep skin color, that would probably look gorgeous, like they said, as a highlight. Unfortunately, I'm just not in that category, so. It really shears out like a lot, though. Suppose if you were using this on your cheeks, that would probably be a good thing. But there we go, it's kinda, kinda sticky, but also perfectly creamy and easy enough to spread onto the lids. We'll see, could be a good base. Now this eyeshadow palette, I am excited about this. So pretty, just looks like everything you need in one. So let's peel this off first so I can use the mirror. And I am going to, let's just use it all. Let's do Corazon, Warm Hearted, and Jaden through the crease, you know, building it up, give some definition. Love and light for a highlight on the inner corner, soul on the lid, eternal to really jazz things up on the lid. Let's do it to it. <laughs>
I mean, that was just perfect. The blend was so good on those matte shades. This shade, Soul, right here, so pigmented and just mm -mm, luscious on the lids. And now, I mean, a little messy, as you can see. We've got some kickback here on the palette, for sure. But now, I've got to go in with Eternal. I'm a sucker for glitter. And let's just pat this on the lids. Oh, okay, so she chunky. She doesn't really, like, spread out. Interesting. Good to know. I think that just messed up the look. Great. Let's even it out. Let's mess up the other side. Woo. See, for me, with glitters like this, I like it to be, like, a smattering of glitter. Not just, like, it just reminds me of, like, when you write your name out in glue and then you put the glitter all over it and you shake the glitter off and it's just kind of chunky and it didn't, like, coat it completely correctly. Okay. So now I guess that's just eternally... It's, it's the shade eternal under that eye of mine cool like I said I think that that ruined it but you live you learn you probably never use that glitter again except knowing myself I'll probably be like give it another chance and then I'll run into the exact same problem and then be like okay never again and then I'll give it another chance and I'll hate myself <laughs> continually until I finally break the cycle. Okay, so we have these two eyeliners, bronze and a blue. I think I'm gonna be safe and go with the bronze. Just smudge this under my lower lashes because I know it's gonna make a mess if I put it anywhere near that glitter. It actually did go in my waterline, which I'm surprised about. This eye of mine is it's been so problematic this week so it probably won't last more than like 15 minutes just with how watery my eye has been but overall that's much on real nice this real her metallic bronze eyeliner very nice and if i'm not mistaken the real her brand it's all about like empowering women i feel like at least when it first came out it was all about like giving back to women's shelters and stuff i am resilient i am creative on there so awesome glad to see that worked and now, salute to the sun, this mascara. Like I said, my one eye has been so problematic lately that I don't have, like, super high hopes. Sorry, I forgot I didn't uh, put on setting spray. But yeah, I don't have super high hopes that this is going to work really well on this eye today. But we're still going to try it out. We're still going to see. I still have another eye. We can see how it does. And at least we can see how it does initially. Honestly, not bad. Definitely in the middle in terms of wet and dryness for a mascara. A little more wet leaning, but I had no problems with clumps. It applied really nice and easily, even to hairs on my head that got in the way. <laughs> Wanted some mascara too. Um, but yeah, looks like mostly a lengthening and defining mascara rather than volumizing, but overall, not mad at it. I think it looks pretty darn good and it was easy to apply. Got a nice wand with a slight hourglass shape to it. I like these kinds of wands. They tend to work very well. And oh, now that I'm looking, this says that it's supposed to be the extreme volume nourishing mascara. I disagree with the volume portion of that. Um, it's lengthening and defining, at least on my lashes. Volume not to be seen here <laughs> but either way okay now we have the persona e-balm vegan and gluten vegan and gluten free gluten free manifest e-balm i told you i can't promise you english here let's see how this goes let's see what we can manifest i think i smelt this already yeah mm, nice warm sugar with a little fruit maybe mm, mm. All right, so regardless of whether I was gonna wear that uh, Huda Beauty matte lipstick, okay, it's like a clicker, yeah? Good, I, I'm not mad at it. Uh, but yeah, I guess I was going red today no matter what. Not what I would have picked to go with this eye color or eyeshadow color, but I think overall everything looks pretty darn good. The lip balm, it's definitely super scented. I hope that kind of dissipates. Otherwise, it's going to get a little annoying. It smells good, but uh, yeah, it just feels like a comfy lip balm with a good amount of red color to it. So we shall see, my friends. Here is the overall look. Like I said, I think 
I would be a little happier with it if not for the sparkles that I put on my lids. I love glitter sparkles. I just don't think that these ones applied very great <laughs> or look very great. But otherwise, I was very happy with the eyeshadow, the lip balm. We'll see about the brows. <laughs> I don't know. I've just got a feeling I'm going to look back on the footage and be like, Cassie of 2012, 2013 times is calling. She wants her brows back. Please give them back to her. We don't want them here in 2023. Uh, either way. Okay, here we go. Here's my face. I'm going to test out the products and I will tell you how they last at the very end of the night. Ready? Ding! Hello everyone. Good evening. It is the end of the night here and I am very ready to take off my makeup. As you can see, well, maybe you can or can't see. Here, have some close-ups. The eye makeup has gone two different ways. <laughs> uh, one of which is not so great because, like I said, my one eye has been really acting up today. It has been really watery, and this glitter eyeshadow really falls off all over the place. So I was getting glitter in my eye all day. Not fun probably not safe either and uh, I just I didn't appreciate that overall so that eye is looking a little worse for wear however I think on the not bothered eye we can see that the eyeshadow lasted pretty well not perfect but decently and uh, the mascara actually looks like it hung in pretty well on both eyes so I'm super happy to see that especially on my problematic eye and my eyebrows have certainly stayed in place as well uh, the lip product I literally just applied it <laughs> so like that can go with a grain of salt. Uh, it had come off after dinner, but it was super comfy to wear all day, uh, really moisturizing, and the fade of it, I think, is good. It doesn't leave behind any kind of a stain or anything, so if that's what you're looking for, don't expect it from this, but I do think it's super comfy. I can definitely see myself wearing this a ton in the future. And the brow product, like I said, I would love to just try it on its own without brow pencil. I think it could certainly have some promise there. The mascara I'm really impressed with, like I said, especially on my bad eye and the eyeshadow, I think minus the glitter, gorgeous, perfect. It's exactly what you need for a complete eyeshadow look. So that palette, the brow product, the mascara, the lip product, I'm really, really impressed with. Possibly the eyeliners as well. I would love to try them on a day when my eye isn't acting up as much, but I was certainly happy with the way they glided on, uh, not only on my skin, but also in my waterline, which I guess technically is also skin, but you know what I'm saying. And yeah, overall, I just, I feel like these boxy charms they weren't like overwhelmingly fantastic, but also I really enjoyed them. I enjoyed getting to test out the products. I've got some new products to play with that that I am really happy about and excited about, things that I would never try myself personally if not for BoxyCharms. So as I always say, it's why I love getting BoxyCharms still. I know they're kind of downhill these days, but overall I still like it. I hope you guys still like it too. You can let me know if you still get BoxyCharm, which products did you get this past month, and or even if you don't get BoxyCharm, you can just let me know if you've tried out any of these products and if they worked just as well or not as well for you. You know, whatever you want. Leave it in the comments down below. You can also let me know how you're doing, anything else, you liked the video, whatever, give it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe, tip it a that notification bell down below, and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, stay well until then. Bye!